Nothing's entirely wrong Kick the hole in the game Before multiple views By time be gone Gotta be strong When you're popping The paparazzi form Sliders singing In your local precinct Like a you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Uh, and if you like what you're seeing on the channel, make sure you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? That's the quickest way to stay in tune with all the latest content. We do have a Patreon. We will be putting more content out. You know what I'm saying? We will be starting some sports shit. We got a lot, a lot of things in the works. Shout out to our network partners over at Fox 5 and Why. And everything that we got going on. Uh, it's a lot. It's a, it's 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 a lot going on, but it's nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it when it's the lull after battles. Like so, we just had like a, a two weeks of just crazy battle straight, and then it's full five days of nothing going on, and everybody losing their damn mind. Tell me what's going on. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you got all of the shit going on on the timeline. Everybody beefing back and forth. I don't really, I don't really subscribe to like beef and drama and shit because it's like. I said it on the Twitter the other day. I was like, "How do you beef with people you can block?" You know what I'm saying? Like it's just and that's the end of it. You know what I mean? Hang up but the phone. uh, so you know, as far as that regard, but I'm um, saying as far as battle rap, I saw uh, Geechee Gotti and Hitman Holler going back and forth. Mm -hmm. And shout out to my man Q Dub. He was asking, and I'm gonna ask this is gonna be the first question: mm -hmm. What battle do you think is more is bigger, or people want to see more of the battle? You know what I'm saying between Geechee Gotti and Hitman, or Hitman versus Loaded Lux, and why? I think Hitman and Hitman and uh, Geechee mm -hmm. would be the better pick mm -hmm. for the year because I feel like Hitman and Lux uh, for two reasons style clash. Hitman too, too big of a style. You know, that's what I, think, I think it's too big of a style. Big style clash. Like you got somebody that's heavy in lyricism and then you got somebody that's heavy in performance and we're putting making them butt heads because they're both great. That sounds great, but to me. On a, on a card, it would look good, but the actual battle, I can't see it being too too crazy. Now Geechee versus Hitman. I can see that selling some tickets. I can see that doing a lot of views off of aggression alone mm -hmm. and the, the, the intricacies of bars between each other. I don't know, man. And then, you know, it's also going to be the, the I don't want to say the, the main factor, but hey, one side is blue, the other side is red. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those battles do, do, that tension kind of builds well. Mm -hmm. I think I want to see Geechee versus Hitman first. What you think? Uh, the easily Geechee versus Hitman because and the thing is it's no knock to loaded Lux I just feel like the complexity of that battle is just too far in between because I mean It's not like Hitman hasn't battled in small rooms before you know, say battle Cortez and Big T and all out of them dudes with the violin and all of that You know what I'm saying? He I remember, battled yeah, he battled it well in a small room mm -hmm. too, so I'm not gonna I know Hitman can bring it in small rooms You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Loaded Lux can too, but it's like where is the platform? Where is it gonna be? How is it gonna happen because it's so much this tension and politics and shit that go on in battle rap nowadays, they just don't know where it's gonna happen. Yeah. Because Loaded Lux, I mean, uh, Hitman ain't gonna be battling on URL no time soon. No. And I don't, I just don't see Loaded Lux battling on um, Red Breed Entertainment. So mm -hmm. I don't know how that could happen. But I mean, Hitman versus uh, versus Geechee can yeah. happen because Geechee not only has his own platform. Yep, he has you know, right. right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then Hitman also has his platform. He yeah, put it on so, bags and bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that could be. Uh, a pretty good situation, but I mean, um, is it something that, that that could possibly happen? I'm sure it could. Yeah. You know I, mean? so. I think that's more possible of going down before any any Lux battles. I don't. I don't. The reason not because I'm saying oh Lux don't come outside. I feel like Lux and Nitty is going down. I just don't think that they're you know they're not going they're not glorifying it just yet. But I do believe that's the one that they they put into war. So Hitman and Geechee is the is the ticket. Yeah, 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 sure. and, and, and you know they—they, they, I, I was—I was going to look to see if I have some of their tweets because they was tweeting back and forth to each other. So I mean, if I got it, I'm sure I do. Yeah, I'll read them and then we can like you know. I like their back and forth versus the the other. Hitman said, <laughs> Geechee said I'm not a dangerous battle, but he don't have no clear wins versus top tiers. LOL. Meanwhile, I probably got the most bodies versus top tier. I'ma smoke him. Now that's where we start. That's where the conversation starts because. Yeezy does have wins versus top tier, so yes. what's up, man? What are we doing? Uh, the first person that comes to mind is Loaded Lux. Yeah. Yeezy did beat Loaded Lux. Mm -hmm. um, if, uh, well, Sirius Jones is not considered top tier, but yeah, he did 30 him. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Let's beat New Jersey twerk. He beat a I mean, lot. It's a lot of guys that are like top tier <laughs> now. He got with a lot of you folks. You know what I'm saying? Man. So it's not like that. Shaka so. Sugar's a top tier. You know he beat, got him on that one too. Like, it's a lot. Wait, hold on, wait. Did he beat Surf? No. Nah, he didn't beat. it was like a debate. It was up there. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people gave us. All right, so, then, so there, you, there you go. So the, the main guys who you think, even when he, he did. He is? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I know, I'm with you. Yeah. It's, it's 
for Hitman to make that bold statement, Hitman all, always do that though. He'll make a bold statement that is inaccurate as hell, and then he'll delete the statement. <laughs> I'll put ten thousand dollars up on anybody who'll give me a classic Geechee Gotti battle, and then they'll put up uh, <laughs> Geechee Gotti battle. They'll All right, we gonna take that down. They'll put up a bunch of them. You know they get, hey, listen, man. You forget about this one. <laughs> one thing Twitter will do, man. Twitter will get to you fast. They will dude. diss you, you so fast. They will say what? You say he ain't do what against who? Mm -hmm. They'll remind you. Uh, and what else did he say? He said, uh, well, it says uh, Gotti has clearly, clearly been. Um, Suge, mm. you know what I'm saying, JC, Sirius Jones, uh, Loaded Lux, and there's a lot more names, you know what I'm saying? Who else is on this? Uh, uh, Chess and Twerk, yeah. yeah. Uh, who else is on here? Mm. It's a lot of names that they're thinking saying. What, what, so, John, John? Uh, let's see what else. What else let's see what else was said in this conversation. Mm. So, uh, he be, uh, Twerk, it said, Geechee 30, Lux, Twerk, Suge, he beat Verb, beat Goods, and beat Math. There you go. You know what I'm saying? There's your top tiers. There's <laughs> so, your top tier. Uh, I don't know. I kind of had Math because I like Math's third, but then again, I can say 2 1, Geechee got it because Math's third is the more memorable. But I'll keep going. Uh, and Geechee said, uh, so Hitman says, if I get more money to battle than these niggas, era, than them, who really is him? Evil laugh, top of the morning. So the Hitman said, I mean, Gotti says, the question ain't money, it's heart. You can buy guns, but you can't buy niggas with heart. Same way you battle rap, you can get all the money, but you can't buy the hunger, that dog, that killer, mm. that instinct. You missing that money, man. Um, but I'll help you find it. <laughs> I like I like their I like their back and forth. It's a little bit oh, yeah, yeah, more. Hit man, here's, here's, here's his response. Most heart in battle rap. All my wins came in other niggas' cities, 98% away games. Somebody like you can't even talk to me. You got 90% of your of the cards where you live at. First time in NYC for a battle that matter, you came and got your ass kicked. We ain't the same. That wasn't the first time Kitchy got it was in New York. I'm just reading what hit me. I know, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, we ain't the same. Nigga. Can't do that. <laughs> oh, he just put it. It's we ain't the same. We ain't the same. <laughs> <laughs> the first time. He said that mattered though. Now, what it, was the first battle that mattered for him? Uh, the first battle that mattered for Gigi Gotti? Yeah, the big stage. He said New York, too. I swear, wait, wasn't wasn't Suge or Surf or... No, they wasn't. Because remember New York, they left New York for a long time. But this was before Caffeine, though. This was before... Oh, yeah, I think remember, he had, he he had, had, had a, he had a one joint. Uh -huh. Remember on the fucking Strike 2.0, he had a battle. He got that a was good. Yep, there we go. That's what I'm saying. So I know Gigi Gotti has been in New York. Wait, hold on. No, that was Vegas. I'm thinking... He <laughs> I, battled T-Top on I was thinking Vegas. He battled him on that. <laughs> The terrible summer madness. Uh, but yes, oh, Gigi no. Gotti summer has. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> Not even eight, it's eight. Seven. It was seven. It was seven or seven. Eight. Eight. Eight, eight was past day and rock. That was okay. good. Oh, seven. Seven, seven, seven was seven, the trash. Seven, seven went to heaven. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> no, it didn't. It went straight to hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> Nigga, no, no, no. Hell to the no. Hell but yes, no. do I want to see Hitman versus, uh, Hitman versus Gigi Gotti? Yes. But the question is. Where? <laughs> you think Gigi Gotti gonna be able to? You think it's not be able to go to RBE? No. It's the fact, but I do think that that would be the most. It would be the money. It would be the money. Yes, because you need the money. You need the money for Hitman money. to pull up. Because because Gigi Gotti literally would have to pull the bag out for Hitman Holler to battle on the right, and literally every other battle under that card is. Super undercard. Yeah, that's like some super max out type shit. Yeah. Um, what you think about? So I seen Sirius Jones. You know what I'm saying? He been online and shit. You know what I'm saying? He was he was like you know pretty much complaining about the behavior and Tay Rock and all of that. Mm. Is Sirius Jones the most disrespected legend in battle rap? No. Who's more disrespected more than Sirius Jones? Like legacy wise and all of that. Like Sirius Jones, a lot of people he ain't even battled yet. You know what I'm saying? And he, he he performed in New York the other week, and damn near was getting like heckled in his own city type shit. I'm, 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 and mm -hmm. they let Mav Hoffa on stage to flip the fucking coin. They did. All right. And hold on, we're not gonna that. Oh, <laughs> and <laughs> and mm -hmm. Mav Hoffa's damn near the reason why we got homecoming to fucking begin with. Because when he's one more serious Jones. That not too long from then, the Urban Plaza shit happened, and we ain't been, we ain't been in New York all them years. I mean, with Troy Ave also. Yeah, I'm saying he was like. <laughs> <laughs> it helped. Home nation. It helped. But I'm saying, he, man, I was damn near homecoming. He damn near the reason why. Yeah. So, and to have him flip the coin, like, do you think it's a thing? 
Because some people say, oh, Sirius Jones shouldn't have let him do it. Who, he might not even knew he was flipping this shit until it happened. All right, I'm going to say this. Okay, okay. so yes, Sirius Jones is probably the most disrespected legend, mm -hmm. right? I, I will agree with that because I was, I, was, I was trying to roll back and think. Sirius Jones may be the most disrespected legend, but the question is, does he deserve some of it? Because mm. <laughs> let's not forget, Jones do some stuff that's like, but you a legend, what you doing doing that? Mm -hmm. And and that's why he gets the disrespect. So is the disrespect warranted? Not all of it. The disrespect towards him being a lyricist and a rapper and a battler? No, you shouldn't be disrespecting him in that form or fashion. But everything else on the outside, yeah. Man. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> You know, and then like, you know, he he been locked up a couple times, so he took long breaks from battle rap and mm -hmm. he hadn't been around and shit. Couple no shows. And <laughs> had some no show issues and shit like that. <laughs> and then I know him and ARP had the issue, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like I don't know where you see him going, you know what I'm saying? Because you know the thing is, like there's some like legends or vets mm -hmm. that when you put them in certain scenarios, they excel, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they can still like let's uh even to take a nigga like Arsenal. I'm not booking Arsenal every month, you know what no. I'm saying? I would never do that. I mean, people do what they do. But if you book him in the right scenario for the right battle at the right cost, you know he's going to bring it. Like, if he gets a battle versus, it's like, easy to block captain. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact if you book Arsenal versus easy to block captain, you're not going to get the filler killer, you know what I'm no. saying? What you think? Filler <laughs> killer. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, you could do the same thing, like, and, and, and so Arsenal is in that bag. Goods is also in that bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a legend where if you see his name on the card, there's not a lot of backlash for that. Mm -hmm. You see Sirius Jones' name on there, it's like, all right, well, who else you got? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 not as bad, but yeah, it is kind of. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people, think about it like this. When Sirius Jones was on that homecoming card, was we saying, oh my God, I can't wait to see Sirius Jones versus Gigi Gotti? No, the consensus no. was Gigi Gotti gonna beat the shit out of Sirius Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, I, I, I'm gonna always watch and be like, yo, I hope he does his thing. But I just, I, this is just something I noticed. You know what I'm saying? And you are, they didn't have to let Math flip that fucking coin. You know what I'm saying? Math was only there to stunt on niggas. There's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, you earned it, burn it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not tripping off of that. I'm just saying that uh, it, it, it probably went a little bit uh, further than it should. You know what I'm also, saying? also, also. Now, in the same situation, mm -hmm. so Sirius Jones in the Math situation. You remember that? Let's let's, let's travel back in time. Ooh. What was the exact? What was the reason why Mav Mav just didn't stop rapping and just swung on Sirius Jones? Sirius Jones was doing some stuff right, right, right. to make him do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is it all the way warranted? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, another subject. Uh, what's up, man? Is your, your man? Is is is, is easy crashing out? You know what I'm saying? Is, interview, is easy crashing out? You know what I'm saying? His interviews and shit. I think I seen like clips where he was like, you know, anybody who's Picking him to not win the battles, like hating and shit like that. I don't really feel that way though. Like, you know what I'm saying? What you think? I'm a, I, I'm, all right, okay. You know how you got that friend mm -hmm. who, whenever you hyping them up, giving them all of the love and the praise, mm -hmm. that's when they want to hear it. Mm -hmm. But it's also that same friend when you tell them, hey, you, you might be bugging a little bit. Like, you mm -hmm. you know how you try to tell him something a little different? Like, hey, mm -hmm. hey, you, you going a little too far or something like that. Man, you ain't never rock with me. You ain't never like me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, sir. I'm just trying to keep it all the way tall with you. I can't be your friend by just telling you, yes, you did amazing. You did, a, you did great every time. And you really didn't. I'm not about to lie to you. So, for Easy to have the bravado that he has... He ain't crashing out, but come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, and it, it is a lot of hate. You know what I'm saying? He gets a lot oh, of hate yeah. for everything that, you know what I'm saying, off the field shit, you know what I'm saying? That I, you know what I'm saying? It's not really what I'm here for. But, yeah. uh, you know, he gets a lot of hate for that. But I do think this, and I feel this about a lot of battle rappers, you know what I'm saying? I think that they live for the praise and they die by the criticism. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They live for the praise and die by the criticism. That is you facts. know what I'm saying? Um, and I think I don't think that many much stock should be involved. Because, like, even today, a list comes out of like the top media or whatever and we're like number five. I don't feel any way about it because I look at it like this. They could take us off and put somebody on there like Mr. Check Temperature or Battle mm -hmm. Rap Trap. Somebody like that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like, I won't be mad. And I won't be mad. I don't even want, I don't do this for list. You know no. what I'm saying? I always tell you that. Like I don't care about, but I think in Battle Rap, this is like one of the only cultures where people will get their 
feelings wrapped up about the opinions of someone else mm. when all you do is give all we do for a living is give our opinions you know what i'm saying so i don't ever think that um one should feel any type of way you know what right. i'm saying so i think that and do and i i think well you know obviously this all happened like a couple of days ago so i mean we're on the back end and i hope that you know they they go their separate ways i'm not interested too much in a rock battle are you interested i'm not really not well let me let me let me let me finish where I was where we was at and then I got you for that next question. The reason why Easy the Black Captain needs people like me around him mm -hmm. is for this reason only. Nigga, that shit was clear, clear. I Look. really think it was an edge for you in the first. Second round, if I'm being fair, you was definitely Yo, on board. I hate you for real. I know I you know that, right? I know. You're the only nigga from our <laughs> city that be like you, you something it's cool to be biased sometimes. As soon as I told Easy I ain't having him in there, I said, hey, yo, you know I hate you, right? I'm like, I gotta keep it all the way tall with you. Mm -hmm. As of right now, I do not want to see an Easy the Block having a Tay Rock battle. Cool the heads, gotta prevail, mm -hmm. for sure, because we went we went way past that. We from two different hoods, but when we, we, we both understand what SMD means. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing as say less. <laughs> that's the same. Yeah, I got you. That's the same thing as saying say less. That's the same thing as saying on mamas, on gang, on hood, on any whatever termination you want to hear. That ain't gonna end well. That means when I see you and you see me, one of us gotta cross the street. Or if I see you, I'ma have a drop on you. Or if you see me and I got and I ain't got my kids with me or something like that, yeah, you gonna have a drop on me, man. I don't want to see this battle right now because this seems like a on-site type situation. I think cooler heads need to prevail first of all. And like I always preach, any and every time these type of conflicts come about, when especially it's battle rappers who I know have each other's numbers, a lot of this stuff could be settled with a phone call. A lot of this could be settled with a text message. But instead, we go on social media and we want to put it out there for everybody. Nah, if I got real beef with you and I got your number, once I see something on social media, I'm not on social media no more. I'm direct lining straight to you. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's just my take on it. Mm -hmm. But do I want to see this battle right now? No, not right now. Somebody need to make a phone call. Mm -hmm. For them to. Right, 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 right. And I think... That that would be a thing, you know what I'm saying? Because like you said, as a fan, you definitely want to see the art. You want to see the battles. You want to see shit go down. But you definitely don't want to see uh no, no nothing go left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of shit has been going left, man. But what else, man? What you what do you what you want to see in 2024? You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Well, you know what I mean? This might be one. Well, uh, I think we probably got one or two more before the end of the year. But I just definitely yeah, yeah, say, for sure. I want to say you know thank you again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For this is probably our, our, our biggest year together as far as being outside and having these opportunities, man. And you know, I appreciate you dragging me along with you every single part of the ride. And we appreciate every single fan out there that's been campaigning for us to be on certain on certain cards and we appreciate y'all watching these videos every day and all of the time. So that I'm very grateful in twenty twenty three. The only thing I want to happen in twenty twenty four is that and then some more. Mm -hmm. Man, fuck, fuck these, these niggas. <laughs> uh, nah, seriously, it's all good, man. Appreciate it, man. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? Salute every single one. That's why I say that shit mm -hmm. every time, you know what I'm saying? Because it's without the leagues, you know what I'm saying? The leagues, the battlers, and everybody that continues to, uh, to push the shit, you know what I'm saying? Because with uh, continued promotion, continued people talking about battle rap, continue to keep that shit in the limelight, it makes it cross over more, you know what I'm saying? To yeah. where people want to see it or want to hear about it, you know what I'm saying? There's some people who don't even really know what a rap battle is, but they'll find out by continuing to watch and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I definitely think that's a good thing. And salute to everybody for the positivity and all the messages that y'all been giving and getting this year, you know what I'm saying? Pete so. for the Fox 5? Huh? Tell them what we got going for that. Oh, man, time. man. You know, just stay in. I'm going to just say, man, just stay in line, man. Just stay tuned. <laughs> it's some shit. We got some shit dropping. Real soon. I don't want to give too much hey, we away. Shake the world, we'll say man. that for another day. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, shout out to every single one of y'all. You already know what it is. Gang!